Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. Yeah, and great sword's a good one too. What am I guiding you toward? Just... Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? I uh, defeated Godric. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria, to the north of this castle. In the past, they obeyed laws which contravened the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. Back to this question. Everything's on fire. So, what do you need? I'm on fire. What about the corpse. The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. Don't that forget it's your go, by the way, Logan. Of a demigod all right. In all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, Ow. the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed, and the ancient oh, plot fucker. in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else 
about the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? That's going to be easy as it is for you. safe. So, what do you need? The black knife print. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City, a group entirely of women arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Okay. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's I wonder what my driver's updated, how my ace combat's gonna look. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Okay, that's all. The power is you. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him. Despite his grievous wounds, you truly are a champion to dear Roger. 
And myself, too. Then good day to you, my dear. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Right. The blessing is I'm taking a break. Like I'm taking a break from that. I don't know why it's not working. I'm gonna make myself mad. And let's see if any other dialogue. I don't know why you're not working. I will figure it out later. You are so then good day. Ah, oh, hello. Because you can still do hers My examination is with or without him. Is the it's just easier because they, uh, thanks. they like oh, you their... Don't, you don't have to do the black knife print? Hold on, he's talking. The, the, blade, the person who orchestrated the Night of the Black Knives, Luna Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rykard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint room. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Carian royals from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born. But why do you I'm want the curse mark? I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. He's you know, yes, cut scene, indeed. basically. Hold on just a second. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. Would you be willing to procure it for me? She may have returned to the manor that is her home, the Royal Karian residence to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. If Lu Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. Must be running the witness behind the black shot of black knife. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the rune of death and used it to forge the god slaying black knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. Okay, where'd the body go? Why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury I'm the past, see what's happening on your nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Rani's first part. I see. When Rani shed her flesh, 
She shed the curse mark, too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the slide. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Good. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to take a poke around on the slide and determine the location of her original body that bears the curse mark. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one, in fact. Can you become Rani's vassal while in her and determine I realize that I know you've got what it takes. The curse mark, those now. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. And good hunting to thee. Always on. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand. <laughs> since you're so scary and all. <laughs> Back to bat the bullet, aren't you there, Roger?